Two patients, both with suspected septic shock and hypotension, are admitted to two different ERs. Each doctor orders a fluid bolus. Knowing it will take some time to complete, the first doctor leaves to check on another patient. But five minutes later, the nurse with life flow has already delivered one liter of fluid. The medical team reassesses, the patient is responding positively, so the doctor orders a second bolus. Back here, the doctor returns, but the bolus is still not complete, so she leaves again. But this doctor could stay bedside throughout treatment to observe improvements in perfusion. What's more, she never had to don new PPE. The patient has stabilized, antibiotics have been given, and the patient is ready to be transferred to the ward. In the first room, the initial bolus is finally finished. The patient is beginning to improve, but the nurse still needs to wait for the doctor to return. For patients in shock, early fluid resuscitation can mean improved patient survival, shorter ICU and hospital stays, and a reduction in additional interventions, and life flows at least three times faster than a pressure bag. Two ERs, two great medical teams, but when minutes matter, there's only one chance to get it right.